Welcome back to our daily look at the IEO charts and um, and Bitcoin. So we um, just uh, just had a little look. Um, literally just turned this uh, computer on. So let's look at it together. So uh, Bitcoin is just uh, just in this last hour actually. In fact, it might even be just less than that. The hourly just showed to me a giant sell-off. Okay, <laughs> a giant sell-off. Um, well, I mean. Oh, Let's have, let's have a look a little closer at what really is going on with Bitcoin. So hourly charts suggest that this is going to go down uh, quite a little bit more um, before it gets picked up. And let's not worry so much if you're a Bitcoin holder, um, like I'm sure everybody is. Um, what what it's actually saying to us now is that um, we've peaked. Um, last night I made a uh, I was doing my live stream and uh, we were watching the the Bitcoin price go up. And actually I put in this um, resistance line here of. Um, 12,500 thinking that that was going to be the rejection point and it, and it wasn't actually we did break above that in fact we made all the way up to 12,800 so this uh, this this support level sorry this resistance level um, just got smashed right through and our next level above that would have been 12,800 so we just pop that in now anyway because that, that actually is a is a clear resistance for us there that said though um, it, it 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 found its it found itself too hard to handle and um, and sat back down from there, and um, so the four hourly are now <coughs> we're having a second continuation downwards, um, pulling back from these both these supports, um, and probably probably going to go uh, a little bit further down actually throughout the day. I would say we're going to come back down to test. We'll put in these supports now. Use a different colour. A nice little red support line here. Of uh, where are we? Eleven thousand eight hundred. So oh, I've got that little green smidge in there from last night. We'll just paste over that. There we go. So that that will be our next actual support. We're finding some support here on the seven-day close, but um, it's not really um, it's not really likely to hold. It's quite a flimsy a flimsy support that one there. This one will be a clear support, and if that breaks, then we've got two mo nice, fat, decent moving averages here um, around. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll call it. Um, We'll call it 11,650. So these areas will act as support. Now, if they fail to, to remain a support, then uh, we are going to come back down to around 11,200. Um, that's the 50 day close. That'll be a strong support. And if that can't take it, we're back down to the bottom of the Bollinger Band here, um, breaking beneath 11,000 to uh, 10,800. Um, it be it would surprise me if it made that that kind of a move today. What we're really looking at here, when we actually look at what's actually taking place, it's a, it's a continuation um, of a of a bullish trend. Really, we're testing supports and resistances. That's all that's going on here. Uh, the general trend is now reversed and and it, and it is going up. These moves are big, however, but Bitcoin moves are. Big by nature at the moment, so so yeah, we've fallen down. I expected that to take place around here anyway last night, um, and it didn't. So so yeah, it's only fair that it came down now. Okay, so that's Bitcoin. Um, overall, we're looking bullish. Obviously, it's Bitcoin. We're looking bullish on the daily chart. We're about to peak up um, over the next um, over the next few days. We're going to be we're going to be making bigger moves and going higher. Just to get it out there, I'm not your financial advisor. This is just me reading charts, simple as that. Do your own research, please. Um, so yeah, um, uh, overall bullish, short term pullbacks, consolidation, resistance levels being hit. That's all it is. Okay. Right. So let's move on to some of these other coins for what they're worth at the moment. So let's have a look at Matic. Matic is uh, we're on the, uh, the the Bitcoin pairing here, so obviously we found a a, a bump because Bitcoin has fallen down um, so dramatically just just now. We're on the hourly chart here. Um, it does show um, the the likelihood of us uh, moving upwards on our Bitcoin value is is quite high now. So uh, we're we're looking to make some moves up um, with Matic in the very short term. Let's move to a. a Higher time frame. Higher time frames are bearish, and even higher time frame time frames than that. I mean, we're 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 very bearish. But, but what I would also say is that we're looking now to put in a bottom. Um, if we haven't already made a bottom, we're looking to put one in very soon. Um, our previous low was this support here, which was actually 120 satoshis, which uh, which we're looking to test now. Could even come a little bit further than that to create a brand new bottom, but yeah, that was our previous um, lowest level, 
uh, since its release anyway, uh, and since its since its parabolic downfall. So yeah, we'll probably come back down to test that before before we actually start to make another attempt of a reversal. Um, so that's where we are with the tether, uh, the Bitcoin parents. Have a look at tether. Tether, I imagine, will look a little worse than that. Um, it doesn't look great, so we're on the hourly chart here. So yeah, not really making uh, any 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 moves here. So have a look at these. So maybe maybe you see a little bit of a price action upwards actually, but uh, only very subtly. Longer time frames, we've got further to fall. And again, we're looking to we're we're looking to uh, to make a bottom. I mean, yeah, this this is this does not look good at all. It looks pretty pretty poor. So we're trying to find a new low. And um, with the tether pair, and we are actually creating new lows now. Putting the, this area aside, you know, f since our downfall, we're, we're putting in new lows now. So, so yeah, got to find that new low before we can start to reverse the trend. And um, that's all we really have to say on Matic. So, BitTorrent token, what a bit of a disappointment here. Um, expected a few more moves from this coin as a result of the uh, BitTorrent speed co coming out, but. Um, I watched the uh, AMA, and to be honest with you, I, I I played around for about 20 minutes trying to trying to work out how I could actually start to earn BitTorrent tokens, and it's, it's it doesn't appear to be you know, as easy as pie. So, so I left it there. So actually, that that release is neither here nor there. Um, the anticipation was much much greater than the reality. So, so we're on the tether pair in here, actually making uh, making our way back down again. Underneath all the moving averages, which is unfortunate, and um, broken the bottom of the Bollinger Band, so we could perhaps maybe even come down to test our uh, support level here at 0 0.00125. Um, what are we on the hourly chart here? Let's have a look at the higher time frames. Higher time frames would suggest, uh, yeah, we've got continuation to the downside coming, and even higher time frames than that would also suggest that too. But um, I wouldn't expect any deeper corrections than uh, than uh, than pretty much this this um, support which I mentioned before at 0 0.00125. If that were to break, then uh, then we do have a quite a strong one here at 0 0.00115. Um, but uh, we'll have to see how these ones go. This is a relatively strong. Chat, um, not in the way that it's, it's certainly not bullish, but um, like I keep saying, it's, it's it's also not bearish. So, so yeah, we've got we've got we've got um, more sideways action uh, for this for this coin before we try and make a break for it. I think when the alt season comes around, this coin will start to do very well. But alt season has been postponed until further notice. Um, all eyes are on Bitcoin really uh, until the foreseeable future. So let's, let's have a look at uh, the. Satoshi value for what it's worth. Um, it's, it's, I mean, it's such a small, small value with Satoshi. It's, it's difficult to say anything. So we're on the hourly chart here. Let's have a little look. So, so again, sideways action actually, even with Satoshi pairings, um, because we're on such low Satoshis now that um, to be honest with you, to make much lower lows on this would would be pretty tragic. And um, considering it's holding its value so well with the tether pairing, we're probably going to be moving around these areas now. Um, it has made uh, moves up and down every ever so slightly with Bitcoin's movement, but uh, generally speaking, it's it's going to remain static. I mean, yeah, the the indicators on the Satoshi values are not really worth uh, looking at currently. We need this trend to change. Once the trend has changed, then then everything will be fine. And um, we're waiting for it to break out, really. Seller, another disappointment to be honest with you. Seller had a mainnet release that you would never have guessed if you were to look at the chart. Um, on the BC BTC pair in here, it would suggest that there's movements to the up to be had on the short term. Um, let's have a look on the highest time frames. Um, highest time frames would suggest more downward trend, and medium time frames would also suggest downwards trend. So, but a bit further to go. Um, again, another coin that's going to look to put in lower lows. Um, in the in the short term before it rever reverses its trend, like many of the alts really. Um, aside from the top ten, you know, all all these alts are, are going to be suffering now, and going to continue to suffer. Um, so the tether pairing, um, it's exactly the same. Short term move up, medium term move down, longer time frame definitely down. So yeah, not looking great for for that guy either. 
and uh, we'll just have a look at one as well. Cause, well I mean, these these guys they all kind of trend the same. So we'll just have a brief look. Where, so uh, this is the tether pairing. Actually, we're looking to move up in the very short term. In the medium term, medium term um, down and sideways, and long term. Uh, long term is definitely down. So again, another coin to look to put in new lows um, before reversing trend. So we do see a pump here, a very small green erect candlestick on the Satoshi value. That's because Bitcoin's just plummeted faster than these guys. So um, that's that's why we see that. Not worth getting too excited about because when we look at the longer time frames, it's still bearish, and um, and. Uh, and the, and, the, and and well, to be honest, with the daily on a chart like this is so small, it's not really worth really looking at. It doesn't really tell us much at all. But um, my uh, my guess would be um, downwards and actually sideways. Looking at it, to be honest with you, um, all I can say really when it comes to these guys now, aside from BitTorrent token, is that they're all bearish. <laughs> They're all bearish apart from the Satoshi value, which has only just r recently had a pump here. But th these will go down as well. These aren't going to stay like this. Bitcoin's moving downwards. It's going to bring these guys down. The only reason we see this um, now is because Bitcoin has fallen much faster than these guys have fallen. Um, and essentially allowing these guys to overtake them with their Satoshi value um, by default. That's not an intentional move by any of these coins. That's what's happened as a result of Bitcoin falling, rather than these guys rise, uh, sort of raising their their value. So, um, so yeah, let's not get too excited. Uh, wait for those lows to come in. If you're looking to buy, we've still got to wait for those lows. We've got to wait for those signals. At the moment, there are really no signals um, as yet. Um, Anyway, I will leave it with you there. Um, I hope you have a good day, a better day than the IEO coins, obviously. And um, and uh, thanks for watching. Take it easy. Goodbye.